3DO. Ah, remembering to unmute my own microphone. <laughs> it's nice being able to actually alt-tab the game. Modern sensibilities. Who knew? Anyway, we're, uh, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. Doing our Zoltan solo run. So from here, I guess I need to get food. Uh, the only things I'm really looking for are to... Oh, hey! That actually lets me do this. That's Come super cool. In, have a drink. Hope you like it. Uh, we want Meditation Master. And then we're trying to Grandmaster the other, like, spells... That's really mostly it. And then... Ending the game. Uh, it'll be interesting. I'm not sure how much... Uh, grinding I'm going to have to do to not get killed by uh, Xenofax and his goons. Because that's, I think, really it. Uh, quests. Mm. Haven't done that. Gonna do that. Gonna do that. Have to do this. Have to do this. That's easy. Not gonna do that. Not gonna do that. Yeah. So... Uh, well, that's fine. And then there was fog. So the question is, is my 400 spell points going to be good enough? Not sure. Is it Sunday? It's not. So we're going to try to do... Did I already turn in this quest? Yeah. Cool. We're going to try to do the vampire house. Vampire house! Forgot to cast Torchlight, the important one. Ooh, not what I was looking to do. But cool! Oh, no. 
ghosts are bad news. They have a uh, one hit KO. We avoided it that time. Now we have to try to avoid getting hit with big fuck off spells. Oh, there's the one hit KO. Ah! Ghosts are a problem. The secrets of undeath. Watch, he's just gonna knock me out again. That might have felt like overkill, but I needed that ghost to not be there anymore. She's going to kill me super hard. We did it. First level cleared. Now, I'm lazy, so I'm just gonna go spend the money to get healed up. Instead of resting, it was just... Like all things, throw money at your problems. something for this. Come and get me, ye bastards. Elder vampire, not a fan of that. You just stay at the bottom of those stairs. Maybe run into all my sparks. Be cool. Saying, man, hallway's probably not your best bet. We'll find a use for this. Uh, <laughs> Ranger's cloak. Yeah. That good shit. I mean, 
you mostly just suck. Ah, uh, sparks. We'll find a use for this. Totally fair and normal spell, sparks. Ah, <laughs> can't beat my door technique. Ooh, that's a ghost. Oh, uh, nope, just specters. Oh, that's fine. Let's go heal. Hey, we gotta get, hey, we gotta get out of here. Do you need a good to take care? How long do we get haste for? Eh, another two hours. That's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine! Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I just have to let them never hit me with a spell. No. Bad. Mm. <laughs> How's it going, Astro? We're, uh, having a time with these... Speakers of the dead and uh the shrap metal that they can cast. Ducking and dodging. Attack from around corners. Not the button I was looking for. Just more opportunities for me to cast sparks. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The the tracking on them seems kind of odd because sometimes they shoot like upwards and sometimes they don't. really uh, hoping to shoot some sparks through that door and then it lowers like from the top down which is uh really not how I wanted that to go do you have any spells for that wrong button not really I can just like run away Start casting fireballs. Uh, I don't have fire spike, actually. <laughs> the one I'm missing. I 
And once I enter my labyrinth here, sparks off the walls. The most dangerous spell. Oh God! Sir, I need you to not be brutally murdering me right now. Mm. They didn't listen. Instead, they brutally murdered me. Uh, I guess that's an idea. Does Destroy Undead work on them? I mean, I assume vampires are undead. Yes. Okay, I have, oh, cool. Good wasted uh, attack there. I've got some high single target damage. Bad news for me. Fucked it all up. Blip. All right, one down. That's something. 132, it hits hard. Okay, I gotta outspeed him. Yeah! We did it. Press their button. Loot their everything. Chests! No! Haha. -ha. Uh, currently I'm using the cloak that gives me back spell points. Not that it particularly matters. Uh, cause I'm gonna be obviously changing off of it here pretty soon. Cause I'm off to... Uh, Evermourn to get the Cloak of Light. So. <laughs> Alright, one of the three quests down. Uh, we're going to go to Evermourn. We're going to do the Druid quest, the High Priest quest, grab the Cloak of Light. I think that's all we got to do there. Uh, it also needs to be Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Enjoy your stay. Come in. Enjoy your stay. Uh. This will give us better light magic. What? Oh. <laughs> it's like, oh. It's just my first guy can't do anything because he's dead. Can't negotiate prices if you don't have a mouth. That's just science. Well, they're there when I spawn, so I didn't have time to cast all of my spells. Yeah. That costs spell points. We're saving those for the good stuff. Like Archomage. Come in, come in. Uh, 
I see. Violence is the way to win this one. Violence! He is out violencing me! Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's really awkward having all these blue cards when I just want to cause damage. Yeah, don't you know? The more spell points you have, the better you are at Archimage. It's a game for wizards. Oh, there you are, Gem Spear. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for filling that in. Yeah, everyone loses eight bricks. I don't know why that's a card, especially in this mode, where everyone gets all the resources forever. Yeah, I need more resources. That felt like a bad play. Yeah, now we can lay some foundations. This card's terrible. Oh, I suppose most cards are terrible. That's just like Archimage. There's a part of me that's just trying to figure out if I can just go for a gem victory. I mean, I think I need like 400, so we're halfway there, but like, I don't know, I'm not doing much else. See if I can just sit here for 20 turns and just win. It's the perfect plan. Hey. Uh, sure, why not? I'm not sure if it actually speeds up my clock, but... Also, he can't get his tower higher if I hold all the blue cards, right? That's how that works. I just discarded you. Shoot. <laughs> and he gets the best blue card. All right, we're getting there. <laughs> ah, this, this is a great game. Uh, plus gems, absolutely. Yeah, but what if I just don't play anything ever? Then I win. <laughs> See, Archimage is easy. Mind resistance. I don't need your mind resistance. Oh, I should probably still open that from the distance, though. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, which one gives me? It's day protection, right? It gives me... Yeah. Yeah, there's secret behind-the-scenes Archimage stuff that apparently is like... Your card draw is affected by the cards in your hand or something? 
Which seems like nonsense. I wasn't even trapped. Also, I have a dead man trying to identify things. What about these two? These two are trapped, right? Two. What? Guess not. Still trying to play magic? No one plays magic anymore. I really should have saved it before I touched this. Because now I can't get Lloyd's Beacon. I'm sorry, you said you won, but I hadn't highlighted him, so I was like, wait, did one of my dead people just get skill points? Sparks! Sparks harder! Spooky man! Alright. All right, so purifying the altar is back here. All right, that's that thing. Cool, did it. I don't need anything else in here, technically. Uh, I could get the statue, but I just think I'm not going to do that quest because I'm lazy. <laughs> All right, I got to go touch the uh, magic statue stones. Words. Hey, uh, can you heal me? Thank you. Magic rocks. I guess I could touch this. Not that it matters, since I doubt I'm ever coming back here. Donde esta the magic rocks? There they are. Now I have to find and murder a man for his sweet cloak. Oh, there he is. What? The guy I need to kill is back there, right? Mm, right, fireball. That's a spell. That guy. I don't have like any form of healing. I guess I got, what's this, divine cure?
Oh, but I don't have a... Uh... Oh, I made a mistake. I was like, aha, I'll just... Oh, wait, I don't have Grandmaster Water yet. So I can't just Town Portal out of here. I gotta get Grandmaster Water Magic. Because I like not fighting. Oh god, I forgot about the fireball again. I've got like two. It's not, it's not a great look. Get out of the way, sir. Sir! Is this guy not taking my fireball damage? It's rude. Oh, don't shoot them. Shoot the big guy. Power cure? I don't understand. That is a spell that not mages can cast. Ooh, heal. Hey, he snuck up on me. Oh. Hmm. It's good for them. I should probably use that at some point. Uh. Oops. In fact, let's just do that now. Wand of Incinerate, you say? I see you there. Oh. Run while he's distracted. I really don't want to wait a day for my healer to get fixed. Remembered the fireball that time. Is Stu going to sneak up on me again? Uh, it did hurt. Dude, you don't have that many hit points. Don't taunt them. <laughs> Alright, Wand of Incinerate. Me and this priest. Mono e mono. Oh, he won. Alright, maybe I use that potion before turning the corner. Pressing the wrong button again. Oh, killed that guy on accident. Nice. Yeah, try to heal through my incinerates. How's that going for you? Actually, surprisingly well. This man is straight up healing through all my incinerates. How many spell points does he have? All 
Alright, so there's another Priest of the Sun that's just like off to the side. And he keeps killing me. Yes, yes, very good and all that. Oh! I'm the fireball. <laughs> Try not to get murdered by flying dudes. And we're well on our way. Hey, look at that. It's really not how I want to... Thanks, game. <sighs> I love your auto-sort function. That's what I want. All right, so we touched the magic stones, we defiled the altar, and we did the other thing. So we're good here. Uh, two of those are in Celeste, and then the Telerian Forest. Hey, lady. Oh, wrong lady. This lady? There we are. I did the thing. Hey, dude. Killed the vampires. Yep. And I'm like a super secretary, special awesome druid or something. What do I have to do for this? Oh, this one's easy. If I ever bother to do it. Like, it, it's actually easy, but... Meh. Uh, can I still train here, or am I too strong? Too strong. Got it. Sort of a stuff to do. Those less levels than I expected. Fine. Uh, we got those up. That's good. That's good. So it's like, is there a reason? I mean, I gotta get this to master. I, I need that town portal. Is there a reason to take my fire magic up? Like. Are any of the fire damaging spells noticeably better than the air damaging spells? Or is it just better to put more points in air? Teach me about water. Who are you? You have nothing to tell me. Uh, well, can I get... C is not... Uh, all right. All right. Well, I still can't get to Fire Grandmaster yet. Lame. But now we have even better Day of Protection. Now that we got that Light Cloak. Uh, so are we rocking out we could do this this is easy but we'll probably do that at some other point maybe i don't know probably not uh so we just need to go to the pit yeah which means i don't actually need those because 
We have to travel. Away! Because I'm not town portaling into the pit. Oh! Mm, hang on, can I do that? I forgot about a quest that's really easy to do. sure if I can make that jump. I think so, but I'm not sure. Anyway, hey, do this thing. Yeah. Now I have an extra reason to go to, uh, Deja. Waiting, waiting, waiting. I'm legitimately not sure if I know how to do this quest the normal way. Like, I don't actually know where the front entrance takes you. I forgot to cast Torchlight again. Every time. Not the first one. Doesn't feel right. Hold up. Uh, I don't think it's that one. I think it's that one. I'll take the gold.
Oh, was I wrong? It's not this one? Weird. Hold up, which one is it? Narset's actually quite a beating. And ah, uh, mana. The thing that makes magic, like, unique and incredibly frustrating. Okay, but is it, is it really this one? I could have sworn it wasn't. Yeah, I guess it is. I think that's it. Do it actual spy style. They'll never know what hit them. Which I do find interesting. You can just like move the counterweight by coming in here and killing everyone. At which point, I'm not sure what moving the... Oh, hey guys. Hey, but this gives me a chance to cast Torchlight, so worth it. God damn. I am seriously going to take that out. Yeah, I mean, he explains why you have to do it even if you kill everyone, but it's still just kind of like, I don't know, you think they would go over like, hey, these guys stormed in here and killed everyone. We should make sure that they didn't like sabotage us as well. Uh, which one of the... I guess it doesn't matter. They're both pretty easy. Was that supposed to hurt? Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum. I guess the temple comes first. This is the shopping zone. So this is the temple. Which, unfortunately, I won't be able to use uh, telekinesis because I'm keeping up the whole stealth thing. Think it's safe? 
hope this doesn't explode and kill me. Didn't kill me. That's all that matters. Let's get that dagger. Oh, God. I didn't even know that that uh, wasn't a real, like, well. Probably because it's another zone that I'm not sure I've ever actually cleared. Because if you go dark side, they're all on your team. So why would you go through there? And if you're light side, the only quest is to get that thing. Which you don't actually have to go, like, into the thing for. And then we have to go get the uh, soul jars, which are here in Castle Gloaming. Uh, I don't think so. Hey, we gotta get out. I might have shot my way through Castle Gloaming, but I don't think I went through that place. Uh... This is fun, because if I get seen in here, I'm just dead. Instantly dead. All the uh, different spells that are going to be cast at me just make me explode. Uh, this is the right one. Oh, God. Don't touch that guy. Uh, I should probably heal first. Uh, let's just save and see what happens. Hey, didn't die. What up? And uh, that's all of the quests. We did it! Hooray! Everyone feels accomplished, right? I still find it weird that you insist that you get the soul jar somewhere else. Hey, let me get that orange barrel. What up? Uh, but now that we're a water master, we can just do this. Whoop. <laughs> Hi, folks. Bye, folks. Uh, now we have to go get the other ultra piece. From our very own Temple of Light. Excuse me. Which is great, because again, the Temple of Dark, we saw how quickly you could just go take the thing from there. Temple of Light? It's a goddamn adventure. Unless I'm missing some, like, quick way to get to the back here. It... I don't... <laughs> personality boost that's useless to me all right so it's the sun the moon and the stars Gold. Cast a spell so I don't explode. Ooh, extra disarm skill. Almost fucked up that turn.
Right, I can be going double speed. Whoosh. 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 All right. Temple of Dark. Soldiers. Kill till better tea. Which he's now weak, but uh, we should be able to train a bit. I should also sell out my inventory. Eh, two levels. It's not bad. Well, let me get that uh, fire grand mastery. And anything that gets me more spell points. Mmm. Spell points. Time is it? Ooh. Guess I'll just train first. Because that makes it early in the morning. Alright. We want to hold on to that. Because incinerate on a stick. No need that. All right, so magic shoppy. Uh, they're not all near each other. Magic shoppy. Hi, how are you? Alchemy. I don't care about such stupid things. Can I help you with anything? Weaponry. While we're here, hey, old hermit living amongst the griffins, I need you to teach me about fire. Thanks. Tell this guy about the spy tower that I tricked. Let's see if we can make this jump. Oh, yeah. So, after this, it's just like kill Tilbetterty, kill Xenofax, board the Lincoln, and activate the thingamabob. Right? Like, those are the last three quests. 
Am I missing any? supposed to hurt hey we gotta get out of here all right so how well do you think he can heal through all of my attacks Was that supposed to hurt? sparks versus blaster who will win Oh, blaster one. Hmm. Right, can I use his balcony? to like just implosion him a bunch Okay, he can still hit me from where he is. Not save. Load. Grew out from behind a pillar. How much of him has to be visible? for me to cast implosion. So this is the part of the game where I'm not sure if I'm going to have to try to, like, grind a bunch or figure out I'm not sure what. 
I guess we can see... If I set this... Do I just need to have him in my sights? Looks like it. So... I currently have enough spell points for... Like, 12 implosions? Which doesn't seem great. Because I am now out of spell points. We fight with daggers! Not really. Oh, right. I don't actually regenerate hit, uh, spell points anymore. Uh, so I probably just need... Like, if I'm near max spell points, maybe I can get close. I don't know. Got it. Oop, that's bad. Whatever. What's the one where I'm outside the pit? This one. <sighs> Question is, is 454 enough spell points to even kill Tolberti? I mean, I can level up again. get a bunch of spell points, but still not be able to, like... I don't know. I need to go, like, potion hunting, I guess. Get a bunch of blue potions. But I'm s terrible at alchemy. Ugh, and I don't want to put points in that. What is the plan? Uh, I could always do this quest. I could always go kill Wormthrax, which I haven't done. Assumedly, Wormthrax wouldn't be that hard at this point. Magic lamp. Hmm. Uh, let's. I need some potion bottles. Thanks, my dude. Uh, I can 
do that while I'm here because I'm bored. If I can clear out this front room, I can open up a bunch of good chests again. Not that it'll have anything, like, relevant, but, you know, I can do it. Oh. No, he's already been kicked out. Oh, okay, I can still get in. Cool. Do you know if Sparks works on golems? Probably does. Will it also get me killed? Maybe. That's what we're we're trying to avoid getting murdered by those dudes. Cool. Oh, that's less good. Oh, you can throw things at me. That's even less good. Implosions to kill a gold golem. Five points of damage. Kills a brown golem just fine. If I kill him, I die. The real conundrum. Broken, broken. Is that the wizard ring? The fairy ring? Ah! They took my air magic! Those bastards.
that. Just their exploding corpses are enough. My god. Okay, those are just guys downstairs. Which means now we can take our time. Telekinesis all these chests. still open. Keep saying that, but I don't think we will. Perfect mix. <laughs> hey, there's no room. Wonderful. A perfect mix. All right. So using Philosopher's Stones, we can actually make some strong potions. It's something. Also, pure speed. I'm in on that. Uh, let's just move those over there.
can I philosophers? St- well, can I catalyst any potion? Namely, can I catalyst this divine cure so that it just instantly heals me to full? Yeah, all right. Of course, I don't know what the other catalysts are. A perfect mix. Since I assume there's something in between the like seventy-five of the these gray ones. Or seventy nine. Wonderful, a perfect mix. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, grab that other dragon's eye. A perfect mix. All right. Well, I got some better healing now, at least in potion form uh, and I got potentially a couple hundred spell points so that's something uh, let's see if there's any other moonstones I probably should grab those uh, it probably wouldn't hurt Okay, so Mercury is a perfect mix. All right. Yeah, then we'll make that wonderful. Okay. A perfect mix. Wonderful. A perfect mix. We've stored up some spell points, some healing. It's something. We got uh, a pure speed and intelligence. Upgraded our daggers. Yeah. It wasn't the worst thing. Still not 100% sure how I'm going to clear that fight. I don't know if it's just worth it to not, like, cast all my spells, but... And just, like, rely on not getting hit. Yeah, right? It's like, it's not really the damage that's getting me. It's the literal one-shot, one-kill. That's kind of the problem. I don't know what I'm doing. Looking for something special? Yeah, but if you'll remember, I don't have Lloyd's Beacon. <laughs> Due to my own incompetence. Looking for something special? I mean, I could go back and get Lloyd's Beacon. It's just... Oh. That seems like it went poorly. I also like that I haven't lost yet. If I never close this inventory screen, we're good.
I mean, the question is, like, if I go in there and deal a bunch of damage to him and then leave. Also, that's why you save before using genie lamps. Never know. Uh, will he just, like, regen all of his hit points? Because that's what we're trying to avoid. Yeah. I mean, in theory, I could use the... Because there's a temple in the pit, right? It's the one I stole from. I could use that to recharge my spell points. So I have full spell points upon entering, but... There's no uh, magic items that prevent you from being eradicated, right? I guess I'll just like <sighs> go get town po or Lloyd's Beacon. I can kill Wormthrax the Heartless while I'm out here for potentially more stuff. Or I can try to kill Wormthrax, you know. Also, what is our, uh... Oh, okay. Archimage wins. 11. There's 13 taverns, right? So the two I'm missing, I'm pretty sure, are this one and the pit. Because I know I'm missing the pit. And I don't think I ever did this one. Correct. Oh, man. Oh, I was going to say, if he doesn't gain any tower, we had him. All right, no tower. No! Got him at one. One. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you meant, Astro. You might not have said it properly, but really, that's par for the course here at the Bad Game Cast. What you say and what you mean almost never have to actually be the same thing.
Alright, it's Friday. It's not Friday. God, I wish it was Friday. Ugh. Oh yeah, multi-looting a pile of gold. So what are the odds that I can just beat Wormthrax like mono e mono? He's a blue dragon. What does that mean he resists? I don't remember how this works. Anyway, let's save it before I go charge in here and just try to sparks him to death. Blue feels like it should be water. Green is air. I think the recovery time gets any lower, even with additional points in the air. Uh, rescue Alice Hargreaves from William Seatag. You know, you have to uh, rescue Alice from Bill Gates. Wait. Right, so I can take a dragon on. Well, part of dragon? I don't know, is uh, Wormthrax? I assume he's a powered down dragon. But I don't actually know. Shh, we're not doing that. Ring? Maybe. Ooh, Ring of Life. Huh. Yeah, I didn't know because they uh, give you the ability to fight him so early if they made him easier. Whoa, I'm not doing that. I would never do that. Oh, hello. Yes, I do love that the Mega Dragon is just like a shitty dragon. Also, how uh, Nia Selving the Relic is just worse. And I absolutely did not uncheck that option. Do I want a Nia Selving? I mean, I'll keep it, but like. It tank tanks my armor class. And I assume I need at least some armor. Hammer, I can't use hammers. Alchemy. I'm really looking for like uh not to be coughing and dying. Uh but like a ring or an amulet. 
or anything that gives me uh, regening spell points. Because I, I don't have regening spell points right now. And I'd really like them. <laughs> I guess technically a leather armor could come with that. So I should check those. <laughs> Disarm trap. That's cool. Can't learn that skill. Good lord. Someday we'll find an item that we want. No, I can't. Disarm. Why is everything always enchanted with bonus disarm? I'll, t I'll even take health regen. I lied. Come back, ring of health regen. <laughs> yes, arms master. More skills I can't learn. Ah, uh, etheric staff. It's a shame I can't use it. That meditation plus 15. Pretty nice. Although, slowly dying doesn't seem so good when there's just one of you. Loaded the wrong game. You know, keep it up. Spicity spicity. Why did I check that when I'm like, you know, wearing that yeah, halberd and crossbow? Great. Is it so hard to get an item of the unicorn? It's of the unicorn, right? That's uh, spell points plus spell regen. Oh, Twilight. Cool, 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 cool. Wallace. Again. Good item. <laughs> I mean, I do kind of want to keep that dagger. Ah, justice. Right. I always think justice is also, like, of light magic, even though it's not because it's good you have to be light side to use it and it's cool there's so many swords Yes, a ring of water magic. A thing I already have. Which I got from another dragon. 
crazy how the world works like that. Wand flip. Who knew it was so hard to get an item with like one of, I don't know how many enchantments. Fine, I'll keep that. Uh, 2d2 two two plus 5. Oh, this is just like absurdly better. It also means I can keep Aenea Selving eh, probably equipped. 50 is enough armor, right? Right? I'm gonna get hit by everything. Although, as long as I have Day of the Gods, whatever, my armor class is actually 90. Hey, guys. Alright, now this time, we're actually going to save before going and touching the uh, ultimate guild of water. So that when they don't have uh, Lloyd's Beacon, I can just load the game. I should also probably look into enchant item. Welcome to the water guild. Lloyd's Beacon, an enchant item. Perfect. Hey, this should be useful. We'll find a use for this. Cause like I need to enchant this dagger. So what does the uh, uh, Greyface patch, like, actually do for the Mega Dragon? I assume it just, like, massively bumps off all his stats, since they probably have their own stat line in the code, but I don't know for sure, so... Okay, so that sounds horrifying. Alright. 
So how tough is this fight? Always forgetting torchlight. Mm, Should have bought incinerate at some point. So I think Implosion's my highest single target damage spell. spells at you from a distance now. This feels very fair and like how they wanted this fight to go. See if I make anyone dizzy. Whoa! Kimberly. Mm. How's it going? Hey, 
We got to get out of here. All right, so if I come in here, Satelloid's Beacon, go into the pit, under the guise of stealth, if I have the spell points, uh, play the slot machine, I mean Archimage, and then I town portal my way back to Arathia, hand Alice off, Potentially have done all 13 taverns. Turn in quests. Level up. Try again, basically. That's where we're at. <laughs> Tower 100, resource 300. Let's get this card game going. All right, so we already have quite a bit in the way of resources. We're dying. This is going poorly. Yes, Dragon's Eye into Dragon's Heart. Sure. I'm sure I'll be able to keep up.
And that big payout. I guess the uh, two potential relic ores are kind of important. Because the rest of this is trash. Because the human one is the mind's eye. Is actually kind of good. Elfbane... I guess. And then the Elven Chainmail. Again, not bad. Of recovery, extra speed, accura extra accuracy. Too bad uh, he can't use Chainmail. And then uh, the Forge Gauntlets are pretty solid for gauntlets. But I'm not a dwarf. Uh, so I guess just items, right? That's what's the best thing for me. Because I need, like, rings and stuff to probably fill out optimal build. Mm, sure. Those are mortared gauntlets. Water resistance? It's not bad, but it's not good. Also, that first item was trash. Alright, we good. I don't even know what the other one was. Air resistance, but uh, I will just take plus 10 hit points and regen hit points. That is good enough for me. Trash, that's trash. Now it sounds like we're talking about Monster Hunter. Why are we talking about Monster Hunter? See, because if you're referring to the last remnant, uh, that'll send Jake into a tizzy. I really don't care that much. <laughs> oh, I mean, uh, Wilson certainly was a, a trip.
Yeah, I I mean, I don't know how many games are just like RNG fests. Not particularly my favorite thing. So, what is this? I have intellect at 203. Okay, it does stack. Cool. I've definitely heard of Dragon's Dogma. But I really don't know anything about it. Is that implying that the Dragon Age series is good? Because, uh, I can tell you I played part of the first Dragon Age, I think. Yeah, I think it's totally safe. Alright. The, the spell is ready. We can cast it. I don't know what... Oop. Six whole points of damage. God damn. It's like we're stuck in a time loop. Hey, there we go. Slightly more than six. And dead. <laughs> Alright, I should just have a save in there as well. <sighs> this is going to be a time. A time not well spent. What do we think? 10, 20, 30 deaths? What's, uh, what are we looking at here?
This is going marginally better. I really wish I was doing more than seven damage at a time. Mm, that good six. Got him! There we go. I just needed a whole bunch more uh, spell points. Alright, so next up is Xenofax, right? Not enough spell points! It's a good thing I kept some of these potions. Which, honestly, this might actually be more annoying. Well, not more annoying. This is going to be annoying in a different and new way. Where I have to... Uh, try to stealth my way through Thunderfist Mountain and the tunnels to Eofol. Because I'm not fighting my way through a bunch of behemoths and medusas. Also, it's funny, like, you know, uh, saying how I kind of played parts of Dragon Age, um... And how I talk about video games, it's funny, you'd think, like, and especially if you listen to the podcast, how much it might seem like I don't like video games. Because I realize there's very few games that I actually say, like, I really enjoy this, and it's more often than not just like, eh. Uh, I don't remember which is the best. Oh, I don't have fly. Uh, what does this one do? Okay, not what I was hoping for, but... Because 34, that's probably enough. Uh, is... Uh, this entrance or that entrance better? I mean, thankfully, invisibility now lasts 18 hours. So I don't need to worry about it running out, just running into people. Uh, I'm feeling like I picked the wrong entrance. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't have this. No, that's actually the right entrance. There we are. All right. How many tries is this gonna take? Hey, we gotta get out of here. Yes. Ooh, it's a good start. A single young behemoth. Ah, we already fucked it up. Oh, God. Hey, we gotta get huh, maybe I should have saved it. <laughs> Two young behemoths? That's doable. Probably. So I just need to... Okay. If I could just... If I could just get around. Thank you, real quick. Uh, please, no, don't touch me. All right. We're on a stealth mission. I think it gets a bit easier here for a while with the uh, old snake ladies. 
They kind of are a lot smaller. We should actually probably s have a save in here. Uh, we just gotta have faith. <laughs> gotta have faith, the faith, the faith. Alright, because up here is one of the worst parts. You come up through here. And then sometimes this is just a crowded room full of behemoths. And if we're very lucky. No! <laughs> Alright. We might be able to get through there. Might. Rock with that Skeletor bringing us good luck. <sighs> Alright, I always forget which hallway I'm supposed to go. Is it this one? I think it's this one. The weirdly square hallway. Alright, the end is in sight. One last tight hallway here. And we're through. Yes, yes. Archbold wants us to save his brother. Even if they never saw eye to eye, he doesn't want him to die at the hands of the devils. The secret sauce over there. Oh, right. A whole bunch of lamps. Uh, do I have enough spell points? I absolutely do not. I want to set a beacon here. I don't want to use any of those. A perfect mix. Now we're going to go try to touch that. So we also have the connection back to uh, Harmondale. Take care. 
Money. Yeah, I'm not. Mm, I am and I'm not overly concerned with this part. Uh, getting through Colony Zod is usually pretty easy. But I'm not sure I'm going to be able to kill Xenofax. <laughs> I say as I run right into that devil. It's a whole hallway for the both of us, and I just walk right into him. Now there's like three. Uh... <laughs> Up to the prisons. <laughs> this is our sweet uh, transition. Anyway, uh, uh, the guy we have to save is right here, I think. Hey, my dude. So that's cool. Uh, let's see if I can open that chest. I'm not sure if it's trapped or not. I always love how it has no texture. It's just a black box. Oh, puck. Continuing the trend of sword users get everything, mages can suck it. Let's just load it here. I'm not even going to bother getting Puck, though. I'd rather have the hit points. I mean, that's usually... Well, I'm split pretty evenly behind find either, like, full-on mage, slinging spells, you know, the whole nine, or smashing with the biggest hammer possible. It's really, like, it's one of the two. There's no in-between. Ah! I gotta stop running into dudes. Maybe if there were less dudes. Mm, I probably should have picked up Incinerate before I started this quest. <sighs> Once again, not thinking ahead. Xenofax is undead, right? So I can just cast Destroy Undead on him? You know. Aliens. The undead. <laughs> they are aliens, right? Like, 
that is established at some point. That these nerds are from outer space. Bye, friend. Bye, friend. Yeah, this is gonna go well. Whatever, I'm actually technically safe, like, right here until I open that door. So we're gonna do this other thing. Where we just set a beacon. <laughs> then we go heal. And recast our uh, haste. I guess I should have done that before I healed. Get full spell points. I won't have the element of surprise, which could be an issue. Right, I still have implosion set as my set spell. Uh, I'm not sure that's gonna be good enough. That was supposed to do that. Just hit him. All right. All right. They take your spell points. That's bad. Let's just load this, see if we can stealth our way in there again. Technically, I could load the autosave because it autosaves any time before you teleport. But because they can take your spell points and what for whatnot, I think it is probably actually pretty important that I get the drop on Xenofax just so I can try to unload a couple spells into him before I, I, I guess, turn to my wand of incinerate that I still have. Thank God. I actually didn't think this through because I keep, I, uh, you know, usually by this point of the game, uh, when you're rocking a full team of four, this is like a joke. Oh, good. They're fire immune. That's what I want to hear. Oh, right. Weakness. That's cool, too. I guess I could cure weakness. Drinking a potion doesn't break your invisibility, right? It does not. So you're saying I should have kept that uh, wand of blades. Hmm. That is unfortunate. Because uh, that means once they take my spell points away, I guess I'll try punching them to death. trying to clip through the floor. There's only like four of them in here. So that's something. It's still not great. All right, so let's try. All right, 
Sparks might be the way to go. Eh, well, there goes all our spell points. And now we're basically useless. Was that supposed to hurt? I love that you can heal while you're unconscious, as long as it doesn't get back to your turn. But my god, you just see how these dudes are just chewing through me? Haha! Stabbed him for six. Yeah, I'm uh, not sure how I'm gonna pull this one off. All oh, right, still have implosion up. That's eh, fine. And I did not get to cast a second spell. Here, let's drink a potion. Get some spell points back. Do you think they won't take my potion, my spell points this time because I don't have that many? And there go my spell points again. And I'm dead. Yeah, I know. Usually it's pretty well packed. I think last time I played through, it had like eight. So four is good. It's just... <sighs> First touch. A... No, spell points. He took all my spell points again. Sir. That's healed. I like how I am pretty much on like, I get one spell off, which is something to say for Sparks is because like, it has such a fast recovery rate that I might get, you know, a second attack in before getting abs, what? Okay. They, uh, they attack much faster than I do. So I don't know if I'm going to have to leave just to recast haste. Honestly, that might be the case. Which is weird that I'm probably just going to, I guess, I can reload this one. Without necessarily tipping my hand. Right, because if I town portal out from here, we should be fine. All right. All of these are things I already have. But because we town portaled out after having already entered, the final room should still be the same final room that only has four demons in it. Which is good. I'm still not sure that 
anything I have going on has prepared me for this, but you know. Man, why is why are these dudes harder than a guy with a blaster that instantly eradicates me? Probably because there's nothing to hide behind in that room. And I'm really not sure how the Lincoln's going to go. Although, uh, I believe in this game, drones don't incinerate you. Because in six, they can. But I'm pretty sure that's not a thing in seven. Though again... Usually by that point in the game, I would never know because you just have your cleric cast protection for magic all the time. Oh God, they touched me. I just wanted that cool stick. <sighs> yep, da -da 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 -da. Now we do our walking impression again. Gotta collect all the money that they have haphazardly laying about their weird flesh castle? That felt odd to say. I'm sorry. We've been through every eventuality. We have haste. We're still stealthed. This is the best it can get for us. There's only four demons in here. Spell points did not last a single round. Hit points barely did. It's a cool stick, though. I don't know if I'm supposed to try to run and gun. Or use some like sweet wall technique. Right now I'm trapped in camp, so that's good. Cool. Yeah, I saw it coming. God, if only I could cast Shrap Metal. I 
have fallen into darkness. And I'm out my spell points again. Alright, so I got the Devil Captain, which is not Xenofax. He's still off in this corner. I'm out of blue potions, though. Though we have pen potentially set an idea for... future endeavors. Problem is, I don't have any uh, mana regen. So I need to, like, pray that this meteorite gives me enough spell points to cast Town Portal. And this singular piranha root. Okay. So. Hi. How are you? Uh, sure, I guess. Wonderful. Hi. How are you? Do you need medical take care? I need the best items for gain regaining spell points. The best, uh, whatchamacallits. Hi, how are you? Roots and all that kind of nonsense. Heck, I will just buy magic potions. Yeah, I'll take shrooms. No, I won't take shrooms. Shrooms are garbage tier. Uh, I assume there's a potion shop over here. Oh, yeah. The level 50 blue shroom. Absolutely. Hey, pure endurance. I don't think I've used one of those yet. What up? You know, it would be really cool if Int Boost also gave you your spell points back. Uh, that's a feather. Great. Uh, which one's the ooze? Ooze is not very good. Wow. Okay. Screw you too, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get me marginal spell points. Unfortunately, I don't think they've respawned in the Telerian Forest. I guess, I don't know if they're anywhere else. 
Because, like, around here, it's all, like, rose petals. And then there's the circle of blue shrooms. Uh, there's these guys. This is all just, like, ore and nonsense. Obelisk I've already touched. There's blue shrooms over here, but I've already picked them. Yeah, I already, I already picked the circle. Uh, again, I could go crash clankers and try to get to the end of it, where I think there's probably a few more philosopher stones. Uh, there's a blue shroom. Which obviously would be, like, the best thing. But I'd have to potentially fight Clanker, I guess. I could not fight Clanker and just, like, run into that room, grab all the items, and flee. That's probably worth doing. Uh, sure, whatever. Uh, alright, so what we're looking for... How many potion bottles do I have? Eh, mostly enough. I'll grab a couple more. Uh, is... What's the... Ooze? Endoplasm? Is the... Regent... That's pretty good. And then any mushrooms or uh, whatever those are. Philosopher stones, which are the actual good ones. Yeah, I meant to switch that, but because floating eyes all just sparks to death. Okay, that might be bad. Oh, Lord. Okay, already is ready for the day. And there's the trap that I knew about, but just like, I don't know, ignored. Resurrection. Nice. All right, yeah, there's some good stuff on these tables. Just, just give me, like, the whole table. I don't even care. No! <laughs> All right, we'll use one of our healing potions. So that I hopefully don't just get like one shot by accidentally being in the same room. Oh, this time I got a book. Cool. Sir. Sir, there's a giant evil eye for you to fight. Why are you fighting me?
He exploded and killed me. <sighs> fine. You know what? Fine. We'll just we'll take we'll take our take our ball and leave. I'll go get full hit points, full spell points for the low low price. $150. Look, I don't want to have to kill this guy all over again. I was like, 150 seems a bit much. There we go. 30. not doing anything is a uh, clanker uh, or evil eyes just immune to magic oh just air cool 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 whatever I'm gonna use turn-based mode to loot everything and uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Good talk, my dude. Thanks for the stuff. All right, so <laughs> uh, Mer Mercury is 20. Uh, oh, Devil Liquor is the high-powered yellow potion, which is kind of trash to me. So we're just going to move those all over there. All right, so we've got 150. We got another toadstool. We got 250s. I don't think there's a 50 regent. Uh, technically, yes. Uh, Jadank Jadanku? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that. Anyway, uh, this is the Grayface patch for Might and Magic 7, which isn't so much a mod as it is, like, updating and fixing a few things. Uh, there are whole scale mods. Uh, sometime last year, a couple months back, I played through. Astro, you might have to help me out on this. Uh, the mod for seven is called the Maestro mod. Yeah, and there is also a mod for eight, which merges six, seven, and eight the merge mod into one game. Both of which are uh, pretty solid. Nothing uh, amazing, but quite 
uh, useful. Yeah. It's... Especially if you... Uh, like these games, obviously from like... Probably playing them in the past. Uh, I think they do a lot to... Uh, really update Wonderful. Wonderful. A the game. A which I Wonderful. cannot attest to at all. Haven't played. Though I might eventually, but just not like... Probably not on stream... All right, well, I like that I got all these dragon's eyes for random healing. Which one's this? Good enough. Yeah, and I actually, uh, I don't know how uh, the new Mastro Rev 4 redone is, but I personally liked the uh, Chaos Conspiracy more, which is a massive overhaul of 6. Yeah, I would definitely suggest that one uh, if you were going to play any of them. I really enjoyed it. Um, namely, I'm curious if they fixed the end of the Mastro mod where the game is impossible to beat. And I know, I know you're saying it's not impossible but it was so genuinely unfun, I don't care. Yeah, I think the Chaos Conspiracy is the best overhaul because the merge doesn't actually, like, change anything. Right? It just kind of jams them together. I mean, it changes a little bit, but only in so much that it kind of has to. But for the most part, merge is just, oh... If you have and want to play six, seven, and eight back to back to back with the same characters. You know, I find it interesting that people are still, as you said, there's a like update for what the Mastro mod was, and like that people are still actively modding and updating mods for a 20-year-old game is uh, kind of interesting. Kind of shows the uh, mm, potential survivability of this kind of game. Like, if you have a good uh, RPG that kind of resonates with people. Also, because games like this are kind of hard to find now. It's a genre that, honestly, I don't think, uh, like, went away. I don't think it ever really picked up. Like, as much as, you know, the people in chat uh, might be slightly biased and different. Yeah, I really don't think the, like, Might and Magic series ever got, like, huge. All right. 
So do I try to just take out Xenofax or do I try to take out some of his devil warriors? Yeah, I'm really curious about that. Ugh, they all just ran into the same corner. Facts, you wait your damn turn. Oh. Uh. All right, this is this is why we brought these potions. Yeah, which is like Again, an amusing thought of like, hey, let's overhaul the engine so that people can make more mods for this game that is forever and a day old. Also, Kimberly, I'm not sure what uh, prompts your uh, statement about Wizard of the Coast, but I don't think they know how to control magic as it is. Much less if it gets big. But, by the way, it kind of already is. No. Not. Not Xenofax. So close. Oh, he took all my spell points again. That's fine. Everything's fine. Ah. All right, let's let's load this.
All right. Now we're going to do this thing again. Do you need medical attention? Take care. And now Wonderful. I did another one. A perfect mix. With these potions and our powers combined. Oh, wait. Uh <laughs> That room is just Xenofax. We whittled it down. Oh, look at all these mushrooms. It's like they want me to kill him. So the question is, do I think I can beat Xenofax dead on, or do I still use door technique? Because I think door technique is probably just going to be the safest. like that you don't have to aim implosion. It just kind of happens. Hmm, we won't, but you know. All right. So here we are, one happy So here we are in a room full of strangers. After the wars you've caused. He saved his brother, and then he gets banished to the Isle of Clanker's Laboratory to continue his studies, but banished forever. Blah, 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 blah.
More cutscenes. Everyone is present. The Lords of Harmondale and I are ready to hear your plan. As you have no doubt begun to suspect, we, my companions and I, are not of your world. Are also are our aliens. Who have sided with the necromancer. The final task. All right, I gotta wear my wetsuit. Grab a backup just in case. Uh, and I guess we just town portal ourselves to the Talarian Forest. Uh, I don't have fly. What's up with that? 15 food, that's good enough. Alright, so... This is the last quest of the game. And I'm not sure how difficult it's going to be. It's a weird one. Where... Uh, basically... You can stealth through the Lincoln. But... You can't... Until... You're already aboard. I can't use that. So, what with the whole you have to go swimming deal, you can't cast any spells until you're actually aboard the Lincoln. Mm. I am not drowning. I'm very confused. Why can I not go west? Oh, do they have to have them on as well? That's hilarious. I didn't even think because they were dead, so I didn't grab all of them. It's like they're corpses. They don't need to breathe. Uh, and I should have set a Lloyd's Beacon in uh, Avli, but I just didn't. Hey, the place is filled. What? It's not cruel. They've been dead this whole time. Although I do find it funny that they, you know, still gain experience. It looks like not from kills, but probably still from quests. I don't know. It's hard to tell. But, like, they could train. Oh, wow. I'm, I actually have, like, 16 levels. Huh. Maybe I should do that. It might make this uh, upcoming bit a bit easier. I don't know. How many of those levels can I do here? It's probably just going to be like six, and then it'll be like, no. Practice makes well done. Well, maybe later. Told you. Uh, I knew I'd get to like 60, and then they'd just be like, nah. Whatever. It was a couple levels. Uh, let's just crank that up, and yeah, let's throw one in meditation, why not? Anyway, I'm not even sure I'm going to grab the ship in a bottle, or the city in a bottle. Because, like, I usually do... I don't even know if it has a trap on it. But I'm not sure I need... Whatever, it's right here, let's find out. Excuse me, 
I need this. All right, I can't identify anything. And I won't be able to, like, the entire time I'm on the Lincoln, right? Because they don't let you have your party members. <sighs> All right. That's going to be bad. Yeah, if you if you can beacon in, well, I don't, I can't remember if they give you your people or not, regardless of whether you beacon in or not. Oh God, man! Actually, that is an idea. All right. <laughs> it worked. Mm. I can take that ridiculous thing off. Well, uh, I should have waited because I have an item of light magic, so now I have to just recast that spell anyway because I'm frickin' Dumb. Stupid, stupid, stupid. All right, let's see how badly this goes. Can I fight these guys? I cannot. Yeah, it, uh, you lose your party members even while you're just hanging out on the Lincoln. But as I said, technically, you... Okay, got hung up on a thing there. That's cool. Uh, do I have to turn the power back on? I think I do, but I'm not sure. Hey, and technically you don't actually have to fight anyone in here. I mean, it's... Okay. It can be quite difficult to get by if these droids won't get out of your way. But technically you don't have to fight them. It's upstairs. Ah! Yeah, that's what I thought. They just do a ton of damage. Uh, 
Grab the cube. And that's the end of the game. And thus, Zoltan saved the world. That ought to do it. They open the Stargate and blah diddy blue diddy blah. I love. Please come in. Korak? As you. We saw you crash on Z. How could you have survived? My apologies. I am a Korak, not the Korak. The Korak you saw crash was not me, and he may very well have died in that crash. Then again, perhaps not. We are very hard to kill. This is Web Station Beta 5, and I am the Guardian. The gate system was built about a thousand years ago, but we never got a destination portal set up on your world before the war. The war against the Kriegen consumed all the resources of the Ancients. Which one leads to the Ancients? None of them, I'm afraid. When the Kriegen infiltrated the gate web 900 years ago, the entire spinward rim was cut off from the rest of the system. That's where we are right now. And that star over there is where you just came from. What about all these other gates? Where do they lead? Other worlds seeded by the ancients long ago. They all fell into barbarism during the war. I would help them, but I am not permitted to leave this place. And I get very little traffic. The gates prevent people without control cubes from passing through them. So where can we go from here? Go? <laughs> Why, anywhere you want, my friends. Anywhere you want. It is very Stargate. Oh, look, I got a score of 9,663. I don't know what that means, but I did it. All right, well, that is uh, exactly that. Solo round over. Zoltan is victorious with only, like... I don't know, you could go back through and count the deaths. A hundred? Somewhere around there. <laughs> so, it, it, it wasn't perfect. But that's going to be it for me for tonight. Um, don't know what I'm doing next week. I am thinking about... Uh, forcing, trying to force my way through Might and Magic 1. Oh, it's... Rough isn't even the right word. Like, I might play it for a single stream just because of how, like, out there and, like, how it's, it's bad. It, Might and Magic 1... Not a great experience. Oh, I know how to actually start the game. But it's not good. <laughs> so, eh, we'll, we'll see. I, I, I kind of want to, just for the, like, where we started. And then how it advanced. And then how it uh, unmercifully ended at Ubisoft Sand. So,
Uh... <laughs> yeah, alright. Well, I might... I might stream it then just so that you can see how to play it in case you want to hack your way through this, like, crazy DOS nonsense where they don't even tell you what... I, like, there has to be a book that goes along with the game because they don't tell you what most of the things do. It's just like, yeah, press 1 to do this. And I'm like, what? Oh, you want to cast a spell? 1 through 9. What spell do you want? They're not named. They're not described. They're just spells one through nine. I don't. I don't know what they do. <laughs> but uh, be that as may, that's gonna be next week. Uh, as for tonight, uh, I beat the game. We're through. Uh, I will probably play through eight at some point. But again, that's all future stuff. Jake will be on tomorrow night doing, Lord knows what. I have a hunch, but I'm not going to spoil it. Other than that, thanks everyone who uh, hung out. Watched me play through this solo. Uh, I definitely was faster on this. Uh, down to hell, and I've already played that. Because that's going to be an episode of the podcast coming up here in a little while. The podcast, the bad game cast, where we play bad games so you don't have to. And we talk about them and stuff. Shout out to that other thing that we do all the time. Uh, but yeah. I will be on next week doing stuff. Jake will be on tomorrow doing stuff. And I'll see you there. Oh, right. I got a alt tab. And now I'm actually saying goodbye forever.